Hey guys, it's Pain975, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own Terraria server. Um, first of all, you're going to have to have a Terraria installed, of course. And second of all, you want to go ahead and uh, download the server files that you need. And you want to go ahead and go to the Terraria website, www.terraria.org. And at the bottom below the video, you'll see that it says dedicated server software. And you want to go ahead and download that. Click on it and download that. And then once you're done with that, you'll get a file that's probably deleted by now. But you'll get a file and you want to go ahead and extract that. And you'll have this nice little folder over here. You want to go ahead and open that up and hit the uh, Terraria server.exe, the executable file. Go ahead and open that up. And uh, if you want to create a new world or just use an existing world, then hit the number corresponding to your world that you want to use. Otherwise, just hit N and then hit Enter. And pick a world side along. That way it runs through it fast. And pick a random world lane. Like, I don't know. Um, Shasta. Because that was this um, soda I was drinking. And while that's uh, doing its own thing, you're going to go ahead and open up your start menu if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista or whatever. And go ahead and type in the search bar and type in CMD. And you should see cmd.exe pop up. You want to go ahead and click on that. And then... When that pops up, you want to go ahead and type in IP config, C O N F I G slash all. And you want to go ahead and enter that. And then your internet information will come up, and your LAN information is going to come up. And we're going to save that for later. So you want to go ahead and, and go back to your server command prompt and see that Shasta is uh, the world that we want to use so you want to go ahead and hit 3 for Shasta or whatever corresponding world you want to use and max players um, I think most players want to just do 8 so just hit enter and server port we're going to leave that at 7 because you're going to need to know how to <clears throat> you're going to need to know how to port for the server 777 on uh, a TCP and a UDP and I'm going to show you how to do that soon for a Linksys router, so I'll go ahead and ent enter, and then the server password, you can put in whatever you want, I don't care, I'm just going to hit none. Uh, it's starting up the server, but it's probably not going to work, so you're going to want to go ahead and go back to this over here. You're going to go ahead and actually go back to your Terraria server and type in exit. Because we need to forward the port 777, that way other players can connect to us. And um, if that was the first time for you running that Terraria server command prompt, then Windows should have uh, uh, popped up asking if you wanted to allow access to through the firewall and you want to hit yes through private networks. It didn't come up for me because I already allowed access through it. But you want to go ahead and go back to your own... Um, to your... IP config duration and you want to look for something that says default gateway you want to go ahead and memorize this number and go ahead and open up your internet browser and type in your default gateway which would be 192.168.1.1 for links these users and then it's going to be asking you for a username and password the default username and password for all links these routers um, I believe is a blank username and the password is admin. You want to go ahead and hit OK. <clears throat> and then uh, you should have something like this. This is a model number WRT110. If you have a different um, model, you want to go ahead and go to this nice little website that should have your model number listed. Port forward. Portforward.com. I'll put that link in the description. If you can't find your uh, model number, password, and all that, just whoops, just hit find and type in your model number like WRT110, and you can find my model number, which was under Linksys right here. And there's a guide on how to actually port forward something. Uh, skip this advertisement. Um, and it actually tells you the game you want to port forward as well, which will be Terraria. So hit. Control F if you don't want to go through this whole list. And this little thing should pop up at the bottom and just type in Terraria. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. R E. Oh, whatever. We can just search for it. Terraria. Hmm. 
but whatever you just find a game that you want to find and uh it's going to show you a guide on how to port forward that um port that you need to forward like ps3 if you want to forward that that way you want to host games on mortal kombat versus dc universe a horrible game that you shouldn't buy but anyways you want to uh it's going to show you how to do that but i'm going to show you how to do that right now so if you want to link these router wrt1110 that's a model number same as mine you want to go ahead and go to applications and gaming and you can name this application name to whatever you want make sure you're under the single port forwarding tab and this is i've already had this set up right here because i've um i host a Terraria server <clears throat> and you want to go ahead and put in the external port is 7777 and the same for the internal port and make sure the protocol is on both. Some routers only allow you to do TCP or UDP. And to pick between the two, just do TCP. But since my router is um, amazing and all that, just go ahead and hit both. And then you want to make sure you keep this open because you need to know that um, your LAN address, which would be your uh, IP to your local internet, which would be like, I don't know somewhere around the range well if you want to find that out on a, a Linksys router you go ahead and hit status and then local network and DHCP client table which will show you the computers that are all connected to the um, router right now and mine is 192.168.1.102 and uh, you want to memorize that and go back to applications and gaming then we're gonna plug that in right here and make sure that's enabled and you want to hit save settings and if it doesn't work for some reason after you hit save settings you want to make sure you restart your router and make sure that's everything is going up and good and now you want to start up Terraria oh another thing you need to know your um IP address so just go to Google and type in I don't know what's my IP oh and if you type it into google it should pop up right here which is pretty useful i'm gonna have to edit that out and so do make us but whatever yeah you copied your ip that way you know what the ip you need to type in for terraria and i'll see you guys over in terraria how to connect to the server all right guys make sure you have your server command prompt up running and your server should be going good you want to go ahead and migrate over the multiplayer and join and pick your character and type in your IP address since my IP address is already in there I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and the server port is 7777 because that is the port we forwarded to and we found the server and we're connecting to it right now and this should work because you're connecting to yourself anyways and other pay other players should be able to connect with you while you're playing this game and uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial use useful and if you guys need any help just message me on YouTube or however you need to message me and this is Payne975 and I'll catch you guys later.